Today's video was suggested by a fan. Uh, Peter Kilstead had emailed me to tell me about uh, this, this application called Ability. I'd never heard of Ability before, but Ability is uh, kind of a spreadsheet application, a word processor, a database, uh, basically an office suite, all wrapped into one, uh, and it ran on DOS. And Ability has since released this DOS version for free on their website, and I'll put a link to that. Uh, in the video description, but I thought today it'd be good to go through the Ability application and just see what it can do. So let's get started. Uh, here I've installed the Ability suite under the directory Ability, and at the top of the screen you can see ab3.bat, which is the uh, name of the program we actually need to do uh, to start the application. So let's go type ab3. And so this uh, ends up in a launcher that I can use to uh, uh, select a new file. So you can see, I just use the arrow keys to go left and right. Uh, and let's look at the uh, word processor. So let's go ahead and start a new file on the word processor. Uh, we need a new, uh, it's going to prompt me for a file name. So let's go ahead and just do test as my file name. And you can see here it's going to give me a simulation of a page. It's going to give me a white background, black text, uh, and that's going to simulate sort of writing on a, uh, on a page. This is, this is kind of new for uh, the time this was released, which is around 1995. Uh, and you can see here it just, uh, I can type in some sample text. So uh, this is a demonst demonstration of the Ability Office uh, suite, uh, ability has several text processing features, including bold text, italics text, and underlined text. Uh, let's go ahead and start with that. Uh, now, uh, if I wanted to uh, put this text in bold, uh, the easiest way to do that here, now that I've written the text, is to highlight it and then select bold, right? That's how you would do it in most applications today. And it turns out that's how you do it in Ability. Uh, except the term highlight wasn't really a defined thing yet. It hadn't really been standardized. And so here we need to use shade. That's the definition that, uh, that Ability uses. So you can see at the bottom of the screen, F7 will start the shade function. So let's go ahead and uh, hit F7. It, it'll now tell me to shade an area and I can use the arrow keys to stretch out that area across the words bold text. Now to make this bold, I want to do F2 to bring up my commands menu. And to make it bold, it's going to be under the type style menu. So let's go down to type style and we can now make that bold. You can see all the different things you can do under type style, uh, font, bold, italics, underline, for example. So uh, here we're just going to demonstrate bold, italics, and underline. So here we can uh, just select bold. And now it's put the word bold text in blue as sort of a reminder that that's going to be printed in bold. Uh, now down here I can uh, do the same thing with uh, shading in F7, uh, the words italics text, and then F2 to bring up my menu, and just hit return on type style, and I want to make that italics, so I'll go down to italics. And you can see that puts it in a green text, and green is the reminder that's going to be printed in italics. And then over here, underlined text, I'm going to hit F7, I'm going to highlight underlined text and I can do F2 and type style. And there's two different types of underlining. Now uh, you can put a solid bar under the entire thing with solid underline, or you can do word underline. That'll just underline the words in the individual text. Uh, this was a common thing that people did uh, before we had uh, fonts that could do bold and italics. Uh, if you were trying to uh, uh, emphasize something like usually the uh, title of a book, uh, it was typical to do it as word underline, so you're underlining only the words. So let's go ahead and, and do that, word underline. And you can see here it's highlighted in sort of a blue text, uh, this lighter blue text, and that indicates it's going to be printed in uh, underlined. Now if I wanted to see what this looks like, uh, I can actually do a print preview. And this ability actually had the ability to do that. So F2 to bring up our menu. And I want to go under print and I want to do a screen preview. And that'll let me look at the, uh, the, the file as though I'm going to be printed it. 
Uh, and it's going to show me in the best graphics it can at the time. Right? So I'll just, it's just not as high resolution as we uh, have today. But you can see here that uh, this is the text that I would have, that I had entered in the system. Uh, this is a demonstration of the Ability Office Suite. Uh, and you can see there that I've got text that's in bold, italics, and underline. You can see here the demonstration of actually underlining word by word, uh, which was, as I said, quite common at the time. So that's uh, kind of a quick introduction to the different things you can do in uh, Ability uh, Write or, uh, or the Ability Word Processor. Uh, let's go ahead and exit out of this. We'll just do F10. Uh, do I want to save this file? Sure, let's go ahead and save that. Uh, and you can see now I've got my uh, file that I could start up again if I needed to. Uh, let's look real quick at the upgrade file before we uh, go do another demo of the spreadsheet. So we hit return on that and you can see it's going to bring up the, uh, the the file to kind of tell you what's new in version 3.0. Now, if I wanted to do a print preview of that, you could do F2 and print and then screen preview. And you can see it's this is what it would look like if you printed it out. So you can see it's got more formatting in it than I had done. So that's just a quick demonstration of the word processor. Uh, I'll escape out of that and do F10 to exit. Uh, now let's go over here to new under spreadsheet and let's do a quick demonstration of the spreadsheet so hit return on that and what i want to call this well let's call it demo uh, so here you've got same spreadsheet that a lot of other dot spreadsheets uh, look like uh, you've got columns uh, labeled as uh, letters you've got rows labeled as numbers uh, same as spreadsheets today uh, if i just put in a couple of numbers in here one two three four five and then we'll put in some other bigger numbers like nine 10 and 11. So my range, by the way, goes from uh, A1, that's the first uh, uh, cell that I've, I've typed in a number, and it goes down to A8, and that's where uh, 11 is. So if I wanted to uh, do a couple of uh, spreadsheet functions, I might do uh, the sum, uh, I might do the average, and I might also look for the minimum value and the maximum value. And so let's do that. Let's uh, let's do the sum, the average, the min, and the max. Now in spreadsheets today, you'd use the equal sign to start a function. Uh, if you have seen the other videos I've done on DOS spreadsheets, you know that uh, most DOS spreadsheets really started with the at function to indicate a, uh, that there was a, a function. And here it's gonna be uh, sum. And uh, we start our range at A1. And in modern spreadsheets today, you'd use the colon to indicate a range, but in DOS spreadsheets, uh, you typically would use dot dot, and so that indicates a range. And we're going to go down to A8. And so the sum of that range is 45. Uh, we go down one cell, and we're going to do the average. So at average, oops, average, and that's from A1 dot dot A8, and you can see the average is 5.625. And then the minimum, well, do at min a1 dot dot uh, a8. And not surprisingly, the minimum value is 1. And then as we uh, do the maximum, we can do at max of a1 dot dot a8. And, you know, again, what I love about these uh, spreadsheets are really spreadsheets in general. You can modify these numbers up here and it will change the values down below. If I replace the number one with the number, well, let's say five, six, seven, eight, you can see that it's been changing these numbers uh, down below. The sum, the average, uh, the min, and the max hasn't changed yet. So we'll, we'll change this number over here. Uh, and we'll go, uh, let's just do one, two, three, four. And you can see that uh, the min and the max and the sum and the average, they've all changed uh, as I put in new values. So that's just a quick uh, demonstration of the ability spreadsheet. Uh, we'll do F10 to get out of this. And I wanna save the spreadsheet. And so what'd you think of this demonstration of ability word processor and ability spreadsheet? Uh, if you have other applications you'd like me to try out, please leave that below as a comment. I'd be happy to do that. Um, otherwise, uh, please visit our website at freedos.org. Uh, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.